you're here, so you've tuned in to Joe's Is It Something? Well, why do we need to do this? So what's the something about it? Joe's Is It Something? You're worried about the notes, chords, beats, sound, but all this getting out of bounds. It's Joe's Is It Something? From Baltimore County, County Public, Public Library. Last time on Joe's Music Something. Rhythm also has to do with timing in music, but focuses on when sounds, or as we call them in music, notes, come in and how long they last. The possibilities for different rhythms are plentiful. However, to keep it simple for today, we're going to stick to these bulbous things called quarter notes and eighth notes. But eighth notes are smaller than quarter notes. Eighth notes are half the length of quarter notes, and therefore sound faster. Now, on to the episode. Now, this all may seem a bit confusing, but trust me, we'll get it. I'm going to show you a rhythm while clapping and counting out, and then you can repeat after me. We'll start easy with just quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two. Two, three, four. Now, if our rhythm were all eighth notes, it would sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Great! A little side note. Eighth notes get tied together when they're next to each other, replacing their flags, like this. Anywho. I know you're capable, so let's spice it up by mixing up the quarter and eighth notes. Remember, repeat after me. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One and two, three, four. One and two, three, four. One and two, three, and four. One and two, three, and four. Now, I like to make this a little easier by using words in addition to counting. We can do this because we actually kind of have a rhythm when we speak. If we didn't, We all talk like robots, beep boop, I have wires in my butt. But we don't. And I don't have wires in my butt. Let's take our last rhythm for example. This time, I'm gonna count and then use some words that line up with the rhythm we have. Repeat after me. One and two, three and four. Pasta sauce, orange juice. One and two, three and four. Pasta sauce, orange juice. Nice. We're gonna let that sit because I did a good coloring job. All right, that's enough. Let's do the same thing with a few other rhythms. One, two, three and four. Bread, milk, lemonade. One, two, three, and four. Bread, milk, lemonade. One and two and three and four. Ravioli, turkey leg. One and two and three and four. Ravioli, turkey leg. One and two and three, four. Peanut butter, fish sticks. One and two and three, four. Peanut butter fish sticks. Doesn't this make learning rhythm a little easier? And to help solidify this, we have the song of the day. Hit it! I had a weird, 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 weird sandwich today. If you ask me what type, I wouldn't know what to say. I had a weird, 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 weird sandwich today. And I'd like to tell the story if you'd like to stay so. This morning I woke up, took a 17 minute long cold shower, walked downstairs and realized that it was right 11.59 and 59 seconds in the morning. Which, not a moment later, turned into the afternoon leading me to decide that my first meal of the day would not, could not, and should not be breakfast by any means necessary. So I hungrily sat down and hungrily thought to my hungry self, what's the easiest lunch known to humankind? And realized it was none other than the flexible, delectable sandwich. And I decided to keep the ingredients easy too. 
every piece would have a name whose rhythm would only take up one quarter note. So I found two of the finest slices of nine grain I could find in my pantry. I toasted them and added eggs, beets, pears, fish, rice, steak, milk, cheese, grapes, limes, oats, squash, nuts, figs. What a weird, weird sandwich! I devoured every little morsel of that sandwich in what felt to be the biggest bites the world had ever seen. Thoroughly stuffed yet still adamantly thoughtful, I was wiping down the kitchen counter when suddenly my mom walked in and said, I'm going to make the easiest lunch known to humankind, the flexible delectable sandwich. And I said, oh, come on, mom, that was my idea. She chuckled and said, no, your idea was to only add things with one quarter note to the sandwich, but I'm not doing that. I'm only going to add things with two eighth notes. So I hung up the phone while my patent lawyers and asked, oh yeah, what are you going to add with two eighth notes? And she said that she was going to add crackers, apples, tuna, chutney, spinach, peppers, yogurt, salsa, honey, seltzer, hummus, carrots, shallots, mustard, what a weird, weird sandwich! My mom offered a bite of her sandwich to me, and being a good son, I took one large enough to sample, but small enough to be polite. My mother then unhinged her jaw and took the rest of the sandwich whole. I was thoroughly horrified. Immediately afterwards, my father came in through the window and loudly announced, I smell sandwiches. I paused in reflection and responded, What do sandwiches smell like? Thoroughly ignoring my mother's anatomical miracle and my simple question, he stated, I'm going to make mine only with foods whose names have a rhythm of two quarter notes. And I said, oh yeah? What are you going to add that has names with only two quarter notes? He said, French fries, fish sticks, hot dogs, popcorn, stir fry, soy sauce, pancakes, green beans, pulled pork, Swiss chard, cornbread, pot roast, hot sauce, nutmeg, green tea. Oh, I had a weird, 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 weird sandwich today. If you ask me what type, I wouldn't know what to say. I had a weird, 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 weird sandwich today. And my family doubled down and they were not here to play, so my father offered me some of his lunch, and I courteously took a teeny bite and said, thanks, that's so kind of you. My grandmother got off the elevator and said, all this up up downstairs has left me itching for a sandwich with only ingredients whose names have three eighth note rhythms. To which I retorted, when did we get an elevator? She smiled slyly and said, nothing. Exasperated, I said, fine, what are you gonna add, grandma? She said, turkey legs, artichokes, lemonade, cereal, chicken soup, half and half, pasta sauce, collard greens, feta cheese, buttermilk, candy bars, mayonnaise, applesauce, gosh, what a weird, weird sandwich. When offered some by my grandpa, I took a microscopic nibble as I was close to exploding on the spot being so full. Almost ordained by fate, my grandfather materializes out of thin air in the middle of the kitchen and announces, I'll be making a sandwich only out of ingredients whose names are pronounced with a quarter note followed by two eighth note rhythm. Unfazed by his phasing into existence, I listened to him list out his ingredients, which included none other than blueberries, strawberries, brown sugar, cheese, pizza, cucumber, pork, shoulder, egg, noodles, roast chicken, anchovies, pineapple, fish, taco, beef, bouillon, rice, paper. Wow, what a weird, weird sandwich. My grandfather held the sandwich in front of my face and said, wouldn't you like some? Not wanting to be rude to my own progenitor, but likewise protective of my body's corporeal form, I stuck my tongue out and simply licked the sandwich and released an affirming, mm. My family members then all looked at each other at the same time and said in unison, Let's, Let's make, make a sandwich with ingredients whose names all have four consecutive eight no rhythms. In agony, I cried out, How could you all still be hungry? But it was in vain as they proceeded to list out every single thing they were going to add to their sandwich, which included peanut butter, olive oil, baking soda, coriander, sugar, cookies, with hookers, black bean burgers, cauliflower, baked Alaska water, watermelon, yellow onions, mozzarella, ravioli, mashed potatoes, avocado. Oh, I had a weird, weird sandwich today. If you ask me what type, I wouldn't know what to say. I had a weird, weird sandwich today. But if I could, I wouldn't want to have it any other way. I had a weird today uh we're gonna have to go to the grocery store tomorrow aren't we oof 
what a doozy. Well, that's been Joe's Music Something for this amount of time. I hope it was fun and informative, and I'll see you next time. But in the interim, you can check out bcpl.info for more resources.